Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice algebra equation? Solution from here. Let's label this as equation one and this as equation two. Then from equation one, we make y the subject and we take x to the other side. That this area y equals to 10 minus x. We can label this as equation three. Then also from equation two here, which is x times y equals to 10. We substitute equation three. At this here we have x times y, which is now 10 minus x equals to 10 from here. The next step here, x open this bracket, all we have becomes 10x minus x squared equals to 10 from here. And next step, we arrange here and we have minus x squared plus 10x. Also taking 10 to this side become minus 10. Then equals to 0 here. Then here, we multiply through by minus 1. Let this multiply this two by minus one. Here this become plus x square. Then we have minus 10x. Then plus 10 equals to zero here. Then here we have a quadratic equation. We are here equals to one. B equals to minus 10. And C equals to 10. Then applying the quadratic formula. Well, we have x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Then what we have here becomes x equals to minus minus 10 plus or minus square root of minus 10 square minus 4 times 1 times 10 then over 2 times 1 then next step here we have x equals to minus times minus z as plus and here we have 10 plus or minus square root of minus 10 square give us 100 minus 4 times 1 times 10 we have 40 then over 2 here that is, here we have x equals to 10 plus or minus square root of 100 minus 40 here we have 60 then over 2. And here we can write this as x equals to 10 plus or minus square root of 4 times 15 over 2. Then when we have root a times b this can be written as root a times root b that is yeah we can write this and we have x equals to 10 plus or minus root 4 times root 15 over 2 that is here we have x equals to 10 Plus or minus root 4, that's 2, and we have root 15 over 2 here. And also here, 2 is common up here, and we have x equals to 2 into bracket 5 plus or minus root 15, then over 2. That is, here 2 cancel each other, and we have x equals to. 5 plus or minus root 15. At this year, we have two possible values of x. At this year, we have the first value of x, x1 equals to 5 plus root 15. And also, we have x2 equals to 5 minus root 15. Then to get the value of y from equation 3, it is y equals to 10 minus x. 
Then on this side, we have y1 equals to 10 minus x1, which is now into bracket 5 plus root 15. Then minus open this bracket, we have y1 equals to 10 minus 5, then minus root 15. That is, we have y1 equals to 10 minus 5 here, that's 5, then minus root 15. And the first set of solution, x1, y1, when we write it out, we have x1, comma y1, this is same thing as 5 plus root 15, comma 5 minus root 15. Then also, solving on this side, we get the value of y using the same relation, and we have y2 equals to 10 minus x2, which is 5 minus root 15. The minus open this bracket, we have y2 equals to 10 minus 5, then plus root 15. At this year, we have y2 equals to 10 minus 5, that's 5, plus root 15. And also we have the second set of solution, x2, y2. When we write it out, we have x2, comma, y2, then equals to 5 minus root 15, comma, 5 plus root 15. And here we have the value of x in the first solution, same thing as the value of y. Second solution, and the value of y here in the first solution, the value of x in the second solution. Then, when we check from here, from equation 1, which is x plus y equals to 10, we substitute the value of x and y. <laughs> To check if this satisfies equation 1. And we can use the first solution here. And we have x, that's 5 plus root 15 plus y, which is 5 minus root 15. This is equal to 10 on this side. And here we have root 15 minus root 15. This cancel each other. And we are left with 5 plus 5. This is equal to 10 here. And of course, 5 plus 5 gives us 10, which is equal to 10 from here. Left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore, these solutions here will satisfy the first equation. And also, the second equation here, equation 2, which we have as x times y equals to 10. We substitute any of these equations as well. And x, we have 5 plus root 15, then times y, which is 5 minus root 15. Is this equals to 10 on this side? Then when we look at this, this follows when we have a plus b into bracket, open bracket, a minus b which can be written as a square minus b square. That is, here, a is 5. We can write it as 5 square plus minus b, which is root 15. That's root 15 square. Is it equals to 10 here? Then 5 square, 5 times 5. This is 25 minus. Here, square can be square. We have 15. Is it equals to 10 here? Then, 25 minus 15 is 10, which is equal to 10 from here. We have left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude that these two solutions also satisfy equation 2. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos. Turn the notification bell on. Share this video. Give it a thumbs up. And put your comments. See you next class. And bye for now.